Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss a word problem based on arithmetic progression. So let's read the question. The eighth term of an AP is half its second term and the eleventh term exceeds one third of its fourth term by one. We have to find the fifteenth term. So friends, here you see you have the eighth term, second term, eleventh term, fifteenth term. So we are all talking about the terms of the AP. So shall we first see what is the formula for the nth term of an AP? Yes, the formula is a n equals to a plus n minus 1 times d. I hope you recall this formula. So let's write the given data. What is given to us? Okay, they have given that the 8th term of the AP. So a 8, yes n is 8. Now that is equal to, that is half its second term okay half its second term means half multiplied by the second term so the second term will be a2 yes this is my first equation now the 11th term exceeds one third of its fourth term so the 11th term is a11 now that exceeds what one third so one third of its fourth term. So again multiplied by the fourth term is a4. So that means the eleventh term is more than one third of the fourth term by how much? By one. So it will be plus one friends. So wherever you have exceeds right you should say more than. So the eleventh term is more than one third of its fourth term by one. So just add one on the right hand side friends and put an equal to sign like this. Okay. So this is my second equation then they are asking us to find the 15th term so what what do you have to find to find a 15 right we have to find a 15 now let's take a look at the formula friends if i put n equal to 15 here then what is the expression i get i get a 15 equal to a plus n minus 1 that is 15 minus 1 which is 14 d yes can i call it as a third equation so if I find the value of A and if I find the value of D, then I have no problem finding the value of A15. So this means I now have to find what is A and what is D. Then I can find out A15. So in this way, friends, you need to write down what is given and what you have to find. Now, friends, we have two unknowns and we have two equations. So definitely we can find out the value of A and D. So let's start with the first equation. It says A8. So when I put n is equal to 8 over here, I can say a8 is a plus 8 minus 1 times d. That is a plus 8 minus 1 will be 7 d, right? Now that is equal to half of a2. So what is a2? Again, it is a plus. Instead of n, I will put 2. So 2 minus 1 times d. So 1d. Remember to put a bracket like this, friends. See, you should put a bracket. So now all I need to do is just do little bit algebra. Bring the 2 to the other side. So I'll get 2a plus 14d equals. What did I do? I just brought the 2 to the other side equals a plus 1d. So I really don't need to even write 1. Now just bring the terms to the other side friends. Bring it to the left side. So you'll get 2a minus a. Let me write it down. Plus 14d minus d. What is there on the right hand side? Equals 0. Let us continue over here. So 2a minus a will be a. 14d minus d will be plus 13d. This is equal to 0. Let me call it as the, yes, the fourth equation. Okay. Now let's quickly go to the second equation which we have here. So a11 again what will I do? I'll put n equal to 11 here friends. So I'll get a plus 11 minus 1 which is 10d equals what is it? 1 by 3 a4. So again let me put a bracket. a4 will be a plus 4 minus 1 which is 3d and close the bracket and then put a 1 friends like this. Let me put like this. Okay, now don't bring the 3 to the other side because you have a plus 1 over here. So let's take the LCM. Won't be that hard. I hope you got this. So here I have A plus 10D. Right? Now let me bring the 3 to the other side. So I'll have 3A plus 30D equals to A plus 3D plus 3 friends. 
See, this is all algebra. Now, just bring all the terms to the other side. So, you'll get 3a minus a, which is 2a. 30d minus 3d. So, you'll get plus 27d equals 3. Let me call it as the fifth equation. So, I have two equations and I have two unknowns. So, these are linear equation friends. Use any method which you know to solve it. I'll use the elimination method. So, what I'll do is I'll just multiply the fourth equation by 2. What will happen then? I will get 2a plus 13 into 2 will be 26d equals, of course, 0 into 2 anyway is 0. Okay. Now, what I can do is I can subtract these two equation friends. So, when I do that, I'll get, see, like this. So, I'll get 27. So, this 2a and minus 2a will anyway get cancelled. You'll get 27d minus 26d, which is nothing but d. And 3 minus 0 is anyway 3. So, my value of D is 3 friends. I hope you got till here. Now, what do I need to do? You know that you just need to put the value of D in any of these equation friends. Either over here or over here, right? So, obviously take out the simple one. So, I will substitute D value in 4. Yes, I hope you got it. So, this will be A plus 13 into 3 is 39 friends. So, A is minus 39. So, friends, is this the final answer? No, because we want to find A 15. So, we need to substitute the values of A and D in equation 3. So, let's do that. So, let's substitute in equation 3. So, when I put it in equation 3, I'll get A 15 equals A will be nothing but minus 39 over here plus 14. So, I'll put 14 into what is D? Yes, D is 3 friends. So, I'll get minus 39 plus 14 threes are, it's 42. Okay. So, minus 39 plus 42 is how much? Definitely 3. So, the 15th term is 3 friends. So, friends, I hope that you understood how to solve these type of word problems on arithmetic progression. So, if you found this video useful, please do like and share the video. Do consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please do leave your comments in the comment section below. So, till we meet again in the next video, take care.